from the same creative minds that made Cave Story, it's Caro Blaster! Yeah, I mean, those weird little monster thingies on screen. Yum, yum. Let's take care of those little buggers. Okay. Get out of here. Trusty blaster gun. We gotta clean this place up. Stat. Out. Ow. Hey, get back here. Mother Careful, the fucker. big ones will run. Yeah, they're <laughs> not exactly the nicest friends, but that said, <gasps> there we go. Carol Blaster. What's that? Who's on the line? Why, it's... It's a toll-free number. Hello, it's the game. <laughs> It's the game. We gotta start now. Stat! Crap. <laughs> so, welcome. Joining us is Hype and Jordy and... <gasps> at Cat and Frog Inc. What? Love it on Uh, you gonna get all that? Got any work? I didn't either. But Wait, that's our boss. Work? Nom, 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 nom. I, I don't know what... Do, do, do you want... Work! Uh, okay! We need work! <laughs> we do work now. I'm sure that pet of hers is no problem. President's angry again, huh? Hype? Oh, that's supposed to be me? Oh. Recently, we've had nothing but trouble. Must be getting to her. I'm sure she won't, worry, won't have to worry about it. Good luck on the job! And away we go! Whee! What exactly is his job again? His job? That. Custodial sciences. In other words, we're bug exterminators. And we oh, kill bloody. these weird little shadowy things, so welcome to Carol Blaster, which was again made by the developer of Cave Story, which is why this, the whole shooting and the red numbers popping up probably seems familiar to people. Mm -hmm. it's and it's hard. It's a very hard game, but again, it's not quite a... It's not quite as, say, um, sophisticated as Cave Story. It's honestly a very sim a very standard uh, run-and-gun sort of game. And honestly, after the mindfuckery we had with Cave Story, it's kind of appreciated. But don't let but don't let what I say say me mean that this game isn't doesn't have any mindfucks either. Oh no! Whoa. The further you get this game, game, the more dark it gets. Oh, have you? Have you? Uh, I guess we should talk about. Uh, we're probably this is a look at, so we're not going to do a whole lot of it. But we it, we should mention. Uh, we should mention the. Uh, have you have you tried out the overtime mode, James? I have tried the overtime mode. It's basically a new game plus where you're a blue frog instead of a, a green frog here, and um, I think there's a different plot different plot line yeah, entirely with that one. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a new story with a new boss. It makes up for the fact that this game in, in itself is actually really short. Like you can beat it in an afternoon if you're dedicated enough. Yeah. Oh jeez. My first exposure to this game was, I think I saw uh, Deceased Crab play it. Really? Yes, he does it. Yep. <laughs> I do remember, uh, the, I do remember seeing this game on Steam a while back, and I mean, weirdly enough, it was one of those games I thought I'd made a good enough progress, but like, it's one of those games, I mean, I like it, but it doesn't feel like the kind of game I'd be playing on a computer. I'd rather play it on, well, my Switch, which thankfully it eventually did get a Switch port. Oh, nice. no! Mm. Ah, we died right before that checkpoint. But up up. But oh. thankfully, we're still here. So, um, false alarm. Anyway, we jump into the bubble, and oh, we come our first shot. Oh, it was not a checkpoint, it was a bubble. So we want weapon upgrades. And thankfully, this pea shooter upgrade is a measly 10 coins. Power it up! And, so yeah, fortunately, uh, unlike Cave Star, you do not lose your upgrades immediately. And you can actually make this thing pretty freaking powerful. Yes, mm. and... Thankfully, this isn't the only kind of weapon you'll get through the game, and uh, not enough for a heart boost. I can really use one right ah. now, actually. Oh well. And don't bother with the one-up. Yeah, the one. You're gonna be well. Yeah, don't worry too much about the one-up. They're very expensive, and well, I mean, yeah, you can use your your money's better served on other stuff anyway. Like again, what happens if I actually forget what happens if we run out of uh, lives? Uh, yeah, what does happen? Uh, you just restart from the beginning of the level. Oh, yes, that's not a big problem unless you're, like, on a boss. Careful! <gasps> yeah, this him. game this game has- this game likes to pull all sorts of attacks like that. So, um, that said, uh, Jordy Hype, what do you make- what do you make of all this so far? That's interesting! Yeah, I guess I had to put some stuff for both of them. Uh, I, uh, how do the physics of this- of this frog work? Because it looks like you have kind of a floaty jump. You do have a- 
Honestly, honestly, if you're, if you're already used to the likes of Cave Story and, all right, this guy just don't know, just plain hard to get, of course you will, you motherfucker. But, um, <laughs> anyway, um, if you've, if you've already played the likes of Cave Story, then you'll get used to these physics perfectly fine, but otherwise, like, it's, it's manageable. Okay. I feel like the game was, was designed with these physics in mind, so good on him. Again, this was made by the same guy that made, uh, Cave Story, who, well, as we all know, is pretty much a one-man army. Hmm. Oh wow! I didn't know Keepstar was just one dude. Yeah, it was. It was all one dude. Wow. Oh wow! I didn't know that. I will say that, this theme is very catchy. It is very catchy, and I mean, I would say the majority of the song tunes in this game are pretty catchy. Mm -hmm. Well, golly me! I just went back to where I started. That was a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know what else this guy has been working on lately. Like, I don't know. Like, I know there was this port, so I imagine that took some time to, like, you know, port to switch. So, I, I, again, I have heard that porting things to switch is not too hard. It's really not. But, um, it, just, it just depends on how high, highly intensive your game is. Like, um, have you guys ever heard of the Gunman Clive games? Yeah. No. All right, well, long story short, it's like a westernized uh, Mega Man game that's absurdly short. But um, the main... The main creator of it actually did try to port the game onto the Switch during its early during like its early days. I was able to get yeah. it in in like two weeks, but ironically, it took him two years just to to get Nintendo's approval to post it. Jeez. Well, huh. I, I don't know if that's entirely his story. Maybe he just didn't just didn't bother until well later to um, get the game on the system. And well, it's available now for like three bucks. And I definitely think that's that is well more that is well worth. I would I would pay five to ten dollars for this. I think this game is like 10, 10 or 15 bucks at the most. Well, again, it has a lot to it, and oh jeez. A lot to it, even <laughs> despite its short length. What's it doing? Oh dear. Uh oh, oh he's, getting, he's getting steamy mad. But in due time, he's gonna go down just like a. Ah, ah, just like us. Aw, he croaked. So, okay, so apparently there's one <laughs> other game that he has made since then in 2015. It's a game called Pink Heaven. Pink, Pink Heaven. Heaven. I never heard of it. I think it is Japanese up. exclusive. Oh, actually, it looks... It's not Japanese. Apparently, actually, um... Apparently, it's a side-scrolling shooter, and it actually stars that little pink nurse dude who I'm playing, who I'm voicing right now. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, the, the, Steam, the Steam quote page says, Pink Heaven, Pink Heaven, a certain office lady is back. Oh, so it's a woman. Yeah, the picture. Dad's a woman? <laughs> Mori finger. Hoping that hoping that, that hoping that that has wake hoping that that has a uh, wake no, flight from Hoping You're that so that close. has a wake in high Oh no. Oh no. Oh. You're in the hospital. I Do you want to give it another go? Yeah, I think he's just going to stop giving a shit at this point. Well, we can at least buy us a heart boost. I could really use that heart boost. And away we go. So that said, uh, cut. I will say that one cat oh, oh. lady. Oh, what's that? An extra life. Lucky Hooray! me. Yay! And back to cutting. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess <laughs> we'll just edit that in. Uh, of course. I mean, yeah. we didn't see it throughout the rest of this. Ow. Ow. Here, here let's see if you can buy anything. I feel moited. Right, moited. Here. What's the next weapon upgrade like? How much is that? Let's see. That one is five hundred no, coins. Oh no! That's no. a chip. Fuck that. But, 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 but dude, trust me, you will get a lot more coins later. Ah, crap! We can just get we can get a heart. Yeah. Oh, have a heart. <laughs> Please. Oh, have, have a heart, old man. Random thing, but we, my friend was talking about Isabel, and I don't know if I ever mentioned this hype. One of my favorite things that you put in a dub was that dub where Earth, we, or, sorry, where Allie was playing uh, Isabel, and when she got the mail from Pelipper or whatever, whatever, when she got the mail, you're like, Yay! Oh, you mean Pete? <laughs> Pete, yeah. And then you I'm went, sorry, Yay! Logan. I'm sorry, happy. Logan. The moment you said that, the moment you say that is when one of these little <laughs> things. Things died. It's just I don't know. Got kind of caught me off guard there. <laughs> well, that's exactly what he did. Is because they looked so happy, and then I just goes, "Yay!" It's like, "Wow!" <laughs> Even though they're dying. Yeah. And cut. All right, now we're back. Now let's see if we can actually beat this motherfucker without dying. Careful. I mean, it, I mean, honestly, it's a good thing this frog can strafe. Otherwise, I don't know. This would have been a whole lot harder. Woo, boy. But yeah, but yeah, it's clear that it's like it's getting a lot of its art style from like the you know. 
monochrome, not monochrome, right? I should say DOS. Would you say DOS kind of games? Commodore? Um, it feels kind of DOS-esque. I was, I, I'd probably give it more credit than that, but either way, this game still looks nice for the sprite style it's going for. Oh yeah, especially in the cutscenes and stuff, and especially in like all the... <laughs> oh, wow, I made an absolute chump that time. And there we, we get go. a new weapon. Wave Blaster. A Our fan. fan. Pretty much my de facto weapon from here on out. Has a great has a great amount of power, uh, and you can shoot underwater. Oh, nice. Even better. Even the frog is. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> or how would Kermit sound like that? Would he be more like? No, Kermit can sound like that. Oh. oh, get rid of these little cloth thingies. Shoot the ones with the red eyes first. Yeah, you, well, actually, you can only shoot the ones with the red eyes. The other, these other ones just stick in the background, just out of reach. Right. Oh, well. Alright, let's go back home. I'm sure they won't cause any future harm. Meanwhile, the cat What the? Oh, what dear. the heck happened to her? Something's up with the boss. <laughs> Why is the cat bigger? What? What sort of language is that anyway? And does she realize that she had a fly in her face? How how long is? I think a fly it was flew into her throat. Run! I feel like that would have happened some point or another. Presence on the bad moon, huh? Maybe if you finish cleaning up the transport devices, she'll cheer up. Ah, that explains our job. Take this. What's this? Oh, a heart jar. Some more. It's help. dangerous to go alone. Oh, it's this actually a item thing. It's an oh. auto life. And I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty. Yay! Aww. That's all you get for travel allowance. Aw, oh, really? Not even a penny. Where is he going next? Um <laughs> uh, There. Alright, <laughs> good as answer as any. My Kermit impression is horrible. Watch out for mosquitoes! At least I'm not the I'm the only one that has to worry about mosquitoes around here. <laughs> so yeah, I figured since, since again, barring that little snafu earlier, we could probably fit in around two levels for this look at. Hmm. Alrighty. I think in total this game has around maybe eight to ten levels. I don't immediately remember, but they actually there's actually several times throughout the game where they sort of blue ball you into thinking you're near the end, but in reality you still got a little bit of work left to do. Uh, ah, okay. And I'm not and I'm not even counting the whole new game plus new game plus thing where Again, it gets harder, you're a blue frog, and, well, you have a completely different side quest, which involves... Well, actually, you know what, I'll just save that for those that... Save that tidbit for those that actually want to oh. play the game Ooh, themselves. good thing ah. you got that. Yeah. Good thing I spent... Good thing I spent my allowance I just got now, just to save <laughs> my own skin. I guess I could probably ask, um... Like, you mentioned how short the game is. Um, how smooth would you say the difficulty curve is? Um, it's, uh, not too terribly bad from what I remember. I would just say, at most, the war the game doesn't start getting really hard until, like, the very later levels. So, I would say the difficulty curve is about right. Oh! Oh, oh hell! I, just, I say that as a snail hit hits me on the head. It's raining snails! And the, and the squids are basically like, oh boy, more, <laughs> I can, oh boy, more power-ups. And no, we don't. As far as I'm concerned, we don't fight any squids in this game. Um, ah, that'd be kind of funny, though. Actually, no way they squid. Squid. Yeah, I'm back. Oh jeez. Hey, there you are. Sad thing is, I spent my auto life literally like a minute into the level. Wow. Yeah, these ah. these levels, for being so short, these levels do have a bit of a difficulty curve to them. They do. So, like I said, I don't think the the game gets too stupidly hard until like the near end of the game. Ooh, yeah. goodness, you almost got hit. It's I would I would I would say ah! that this game is definitely harder than Cave Story near the um, earlier bits. Until you start getting uh well the thing that like the reason why you want to have your wave bat your wave or like these fans like as powerful as they can be is that you want like your bullet size as you can already tell your bullet sizes are gonna be kinda ridiculous after a while, how big yeah. your bullets will be. And the idea right. is that if you can make it powerful enough, like it's, it's not even the enemies themselves is the problem. It's your bullets, as you've noticed, can actually cancel out enemy fire. Yeah, they can. That's so very it's helpful. important. Yep. Yeah, so it's important to get as high as you can to prevent projectiles on screen. Uh oh, bees! Oh, save your baby! 
<laughs> He's okay now. <laughs> Don't worry, he just had to get a frog in his throat. <laughs> would it get annoying? Would it get annoying if I did that every single time he jumped? <laughs> did what? <laughs> just no, hop no, up whenever he hops. Let's not do that. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, how's how, how much is the fan upgrade? Thirty oh. coins. Oh, nice. that's not too bad. I could really use that actually. This doesn't make our really shots too terribly longer, but it does make them lighter. That Look is that. very wow. Actually, wait, I do have 40 coins on hand. Let me see if that's enough to get me any health upgrades. I think the uh, next health check. upgrade is 60, yeah. No! Oh, yeah. Mother... Ah. It's okay. Probably, like, depending on how many we're getting, we can probably just come right back after grinding. That is yeah. true. Assuming, so... assuming I don't already uh, automatically die. In fact, unless I'm mistaken, I think there's only like one, one C and, C and F bubble per level. Yeah. And it is a linear game, so there's no going back. Yeah. Unle mm -hmm. Again, unless you die. Which, well, so I mean, like, well, and again, the fact that dying doesn't actually, like, remove too much progress besides just restarting a level, it's not the worst. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you just, you just wish you had, you just had those strats just to, uh, oh, wow, take too many hits. Yeah. Friggin' birds. The birds. I swear, the world of, world of Cat and Frog is just weird. Well, excuse me, the world of Tarot Blaster. Hey, oh, we knew what you meant. Oh yes, yeah, so for, for those that are not culturally culturally in tone, Caro is is basically how the Japanese view frog frog speaking. Ah, oh, okay. Whereas we hear it as ribbit, they hear it as Caro. Get out, get out. Exactly. Ribbit. Hold on, how would I say that with a frog's voice? Caro. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Get out, get out, get out, get <laughs> Actually, that does remind me. Are, are you are you guys familiar with the flip uh, the uh, flip note studio series that Nintendo had for a little while? I know which Mickey's one is that? Not a flip note. Uh, basically, flip no flip note studio is like an animation program that Nintendo posted on the DSi and then sort of exclusively to the uh, my Nintendo service for the 3DS. Uh huh. And the the I think the uh, oh treasure chest. Oh no! Boss. Wait! No! Oh, boss time. Here we go. It's a whole uh, flash mob of mud men. Oh, that That's not sucks. Too bad. Say that five times fast. I just thought it was gonna be something cool. If this but is the anyway. boss, I'll, oh, if this is the boss, I'll probably have to stop after that. Uh oh, that's fair. The big oh. boy. It's the big big boy. Or excuse me, the bad mud yeah. man. Yeah, our bullets are just our bullets are doing just fine. I do love how the numbers stack the more damage you do to them. Yeah. Though I kind of wish that was kind of continuous, though, though I guess if that were the case, boss fights would end very quickly if they did. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this guy's going down right about now. Bye bye, and, big boy. And now we got a bubble blaster. Bubble! Because cave story. Pretty Both much, yeah. For a long distance, they're also buoyant, so they float on water. Sweet! Yep. If you have things on the surface of the water, you can take care of them with that. Let's go clean up that teleporter. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then, with bark bubbles. Oh, and by the way, you can still grab the tent chest. I figured. What's inside it. Inside it is a <gasps> mud man, you <gasps> motherfucker. <laughs> well. Good riddance, you trash. Let's get out of here. And I love how the music just stops for the rest of it. Okay, here yeah. we go. Let's just get these. To, oh. Just to show this, show, show his disdain over the, the matter. All right, let's get home. All right, fine. Again, I get the feeling that this might lead to something. Wonder how the president oh, is Oh gosh, doing. what happened? Uh, are you uh, okay? What are you talking about? Bugs, bugs, and more bugs. She can only speak in bugs. <laughs> also, her pet's getting kind of big. I want all of them. Oh, what? <laughs> one, of, one of her bugs oh, fell. Oh god. The president's really messed up, huh? <laughs> Isn't the cleanup not going well? No, it's all on schedule. I see. Two more areas left in the quota. Yeah, we're already halfway done. Psst, spoiler warnings, it's actually not halfway done. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, like no. I, like they said, the game te likes the blue ball, you, ball you like that. Don't bring us anything back. And on that note, I think that's pretty much where we'll stop. I love hotel. Hmm. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yes. But, all right. Yeah. Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that that's pretty much our stopping point for um, Carol Blaster for the Nintendo Switch. Again, you can also get it on Steam, and I 
think that's pretty much it. If you love I these kind of run and gun I games, think, I, I think it may be mobile, like iOS, maybe as well. I really, it really wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, if you like these kind of games, I honestly, it's very, it's pretty inexpensive, and well, it would be a perfect game for the Switch. Oh yeah, and it is six bucks on the App Store. Oh, figured as such. But um, on that note, hope you all enjoyed our rather interesting little live let and com- let look at of it. I'm James May Extreme. Lucky Jack Twenty. Join the Cat Eleven. Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, guys. All right, bye. More bugs.